Sitaram and a pleasant good evening to each and everyone. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say a happy new year to everyone. And we hope that 2024 will be a better year than last year. At this point, I would like to invite Auntie Chansey to lead us in our opening prayer, followed by our first bhajan. Thank you. Namaskar, everyone. Let me endorse what uh, Shabana said before. And I pray that we will grow together, grow together spiritually as a Dharma Parivar, part of that greater family that the Lord has taught us, the oneness of God in all of us. So as always, we begin with prayer. But as we begin, let us remember all those who are less fortunate than us. And we pray that somehow they will get some form of relief. That our beautiful Lord, our most compassionate Lord, will shower his mercy and grace on them. So let's begin. Om. Oh. Oh. Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsa Chanur Mardanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru Rameva Sharanam Rameva Sharanam Rame Vasharanam Sharanam Ramana Rayana Ramana Rayana Ramana Rayana Sharanam Ram Narayana, Ram Narayana, Ram Narayana, Sharanami. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Koi pole hari hari, koi pole ram ram, koi pole hari hari, koi pole ram ram, koi pole durga kali, koi pole sai ma, koi pole durga. Kali, koi pole sai ma, koi pole hari hari, koi pole ram ram, koi pole narayana, Allah bismillah, koi pole Koi Guru Nanak, Bodha Mahavira. Koi Guru Nanak, Bodha Mahavira. 
कबीरा साधु सन फकीरा जाने सब है तेरो साधु सन फकीरा जाने सब है तेरो नाम बोल मन अल्लाह मालिक बोल मन साई राम बोल बोल मन अल्लाह मालिक बोल मन साई राम कोई बोले हरि हरि कोई बोले राम राम कोई बोले दुर्गा काली कोई बोले साई मा कोई बोले हरि हरि कोई बोले नारायण अल्लाह बिस्मिल्लाह कोई बोले नारायण अल्लाह बिस्मिल्लाह कोई गुरु नानक बोध महावीरा कोई गुरु नानक बोध महावीरा साधु सन फकीरा जाने सब है तेरो नाम बोल मन अल्लाह मालिक बोल मन साई राम बोल बोल मन अल्लाह मालिक बोल मन साई राम कोई बोले हरि हरि कोई बोले राम राम नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच आंटी जानसी um so sanya can you do the next uh, song for us followed by anti joy anti enra if you are there and then my mommy thank you sitam achutam kesavam krishna damodaram अच्युतम केशव कृष्ण दामोदर राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ कौन कहते हे भगवान आते नहीं कौन कहते हे भगवान आते नहीं तुम मीरा की जय से बुलाते नहीं तुम मीरा की जय से बुलाते नहीं अच्युतम के जब कृष्ण दामोदरम राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ कौन कहते हे भगवान काते नहीं कौन कहते हे भगवान काते नहीं तेरा शबरी की जय से किलाते नहीं तेरा शबरी की जय से किलाते नहीं अच्युतम के जब कृष्ण रामोदरम राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ कौन कहते हे भगवान सोते नहीं कौन कहते हे भगवान सोते नहीं मायशोरा की जय से सुलाते नहीं मायशोरा की जय से सुलाते नहीं अच्युतम के जब कृष्ण दामोदरम अच्युतम के शब कृष्ण दामोदरम राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ राम नारायण राम जान की वल्लभ राम सुख के 
सब साथी दुख में न को मेरे राम मेरे राम तेरा नाम एक साचा दो जान को सुख के सब साथी जीवनानी जानी छाया जीवनानी जानी छाया झूठी माया झूठी खाया फिर कहे को सारे उमरिया फिर कहे को सारे उमरिया पाप की घतरी धोई सुख के सब साथी दुख में न को मेरे राम मेरे राम तेरा नाम एक साचा दू जान को ना कुछ तेरा ना कुछ मेरा ना कुछ तेरा ना कुछ मेरा ये जग जोगी वाला फेरा राजा हो या रंग सभी का राजा हो या रंग सभी का अंत एक सोई सुख के सब साथी दुख में न को मेरे राम मेरे राम तेरा नाम एक साचा दू जान को बाहर की तू माती फाके बाहर की तू माती पाके मन के भीतर क्यों न छाके उजल तन पर मान के आजल तन पर मान के आर मन के मैल न धोई सुख के सब साथी दुख में न को मेरे राम मेरे राम तेरा नाम एक साचा दूजान को सीताराम एवरीवन हे पावन परमेश्वर मेर मन ही मन शर्मा 
मेले चादर और के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे आ हे पावन परमेश्वर में मन ही मन शर्मा मेले चादर ओढ़ के कैसे तूने मुझको जग में भेजा निर्मल दे कर खाया आकर संसार में मैंने इसको डागल गा जन्म जन्म के मैंने चार कैसे डाग चढ़ा मेले चादर ओर के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे मेले चादर ओर के कैसे नील मलवा कर तुझे से नाम ने तेरा गाया हे परमेश्वर कभी न तुझे को मन तारी तू थे अब क्या गीत सुना मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे आ मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसे नेक कमाई करना कोई जग के माया जो तोर इस दुनिया से तुम से संग प्रजोरी करम करम गतरिया से पर राखे पग भी चाल न मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे हे पावन परमेश्वर में मन ही मन शर्मा मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसी इन पैरों से चाकल तेरे मंदिर कभी ना जहा जहा पूजा तेरी कभी न शेष झुका हे हर 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 किया अब क्या हार चढ़ा मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे आ हे पावन परमेश्वर में मन ही मन शर्मा मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसी मेली चादर ओढ़ के कैसी सीताराम अगेन एवरीवन सीताराम एवरीवन आओ मई तो जपो हरि नाम शिव जी की मंदिर में आओ मई तो जपो हरि नाम शिव जी की मंदिर में 
शिवजी की मंदिर शिवजी की मंदिर शिवजी की मंदिर में शिवजी की मंदिर शिवजी की मंदिर शिवजी की मंदिर में आओ बैठो जपो हरि नाम शिवजी की मंदिर में सोना के और मूर्ति बनी है सोना के और मूर्ति बनी है लक्ष्मण और हनुमान शिवजी की मंदिर में आओ बैठो जपो हरि नाम शिवजी की मंदिर में तुलसीदास भजो भगवान तुलसीदास भजो भगवान सीता और श्री राम शिवजी की मंदिर में आओ बैठो जपो हरि नाम शिवजी की मंदिर में शिवजी की मंदिर शिवजी की मंदिर शिवजी की मंदिर में आओ बैठो जपो हरि नाम शिवजी की मंदिर में आओ बैठो जपो हरि नाम शिवजी की मंदिर में थैंक यू Thank you all very much. So, Mrs. Ramdat, can you do the next one for us, and then I'll pass over to Auntie Chansey for tonight's catechism. Thank you. Jai Sri Ram, everyone. Shiva Shankar, Daya Karo, Dukha Haro. शिव शंकर दया करो दुख हरो कृपा सिंधु करुणा निधि हमर कृपा सिंधु करुणा निधि हमर सागर पाप हरो दया करो शिव शंकर दया करो दुख हरो बीच भवर में डोल रही डोल रही दुख के झनकारी हृदय में बोल रही बोल रही बम बम भोले नाच भक्त की नैया पार करो दया करो शिव शंकर दया करो दुख हरो पग पग पर बिपता के बागल छा रही छा रही झूठे जग की माया में भर मारही भर मारही हे त्रिलोचन संकट मोचन बिपता आन हरो दया करो शिव शंकर दया करो दुख हरो कृपा सिंधु 
करुणा निधि हमर कृपा सिंधु करुणा निधि हमर सागर पाप हरो दया करो शिव शंकर दया करो दुख हरो दया करो दुख हरो दया करो दुख हरो उमापति महादेव की जय Namaste again everyone. So tonight being our first satsang I thought we I would reiterate the importance of knowledge in our tradition. As I've said before the Lord if you look the way the bhagavad gita is outlined see very early this is a yoga of knowledge and after that then you would find karma yoga the yoga of action while knowledge in itself it's not a be all and end all the lord teaches that no, even knowledge has its limitations unless it is applied you will derive some benefits but then to what end and this is the difference between brahma gyana and secular knowledge if you are not knowledgeable that means you are ignorant when you are ignorant you become gullible you also become dependent you also there's a great chance that you have no focus you have no goal you are lost this is why every one of our scriptures it is all about knowledge imparting knowledge we all know who we are but do we really know who we are we can say yes i am so and so i know my name i know my family i know where i live i know all of these things but does it end there and this is the question that must be answered and this is where the hindu tradition teaches in the most profound way in the most beautiful way who we are all of us it teaches the limitations of secular knowledge and when i say this i am not saying secular knowledge is not important obviously it is very important but if you're looking for happiness lasting happiness and progress spiritually you need to have that spiritual knowledge at spiritual nourishment and sometimes things will not fall in our laps last week when i uh, chanted that verse from the bhagavadam satsangatve nisasangatvam if you 
are in places where there, you know, there is nothing that you, that will be beneficial, or you surround yourself with people who are ignorant. Nothing good is going to rub off on you. This is something that we must always be conscious of. When our, uh, when the scriptures teach us that you know, join in satsang, we have a, a very reductionist understanding of what satsang is. We hear, show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are. And this, this. Uh, this statement is true, you know, on so many levels. When you break up the word satsang, it means what? Like an assembly of truth, a group where there's truth. So do we need to be singing and chanting and all of that? We can have satsang anyway. It is the type of activity that you are involved in, the type of conversation. You can have satsang anywhere. When you're discussing the Lord, you're discussing spirituality, you're talking about truth. You see, it's very sad that we as Hindus think that we all we need to do is to go to the mandir and observe the, the major observances and so on and that we are this is enough even though our scriptures teach us that this is not what the lord wants we've gone through this ad nauseum everything that we have everything that we enjoy our very life is because of God. The Lord's grace. And yet, we think by offering, you know, these token offerings to God once in a while, that will please God. And that's enough for me. With love, we discussed this uh, several satsangs ago. On, on the, and as a matter of fact, Shivana just posted it on the traits of a devotee. What is required? What does the Lord want from us? Who is near and dear to Him? And it speaks again about your heart, it speaks about your thought, word, and deed being in sync. Don't preach to me. And then your life is morally and spiritually bankrupt. And this is for us to understand, to question. It is not enough to sit and accept. At the end of our journey, that is not going to help us. When you are knowledgeable, you are empowered. You can actually, you know, engage in some sort of deductive reasoning. This is not what will now dictate the way you approach your life, how you deal with issues that crop up in your life, how you deal with stress, how you deal with problems. And so many of us, you know, we hold our heads and we, 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 you know, we cry out in despair. We cannot understand why these things are happening to us. And sometimes it is overbearing. But when you have this understanding about, you know, the, the possibility For, for change, that this is not due to what you are doing now. If you know you are being doing the right thing, 
but it is now serving you in good stead for the future. It gives you hope. So our life is not, it's not a linear journey, but it's a cycle. And it is the ma only major world tradition that teaches the cyclical uh, journey that we are all on. And also how we can break this cycle. But, you know, the problem with or at least for me, the major problem that I see for us Hindus is our gullibility. I'm not sure if it is if it is by choice, and sometimes I have to think that it is by choice. You the you know the time has passed for excuses. We now have access to so much information, so much technology exists that will assist us. But the technology or the information is not going to fall into our laps or into our heads if we are not prepared to begin this task, this Atma Vicharaha. We have to want to know. So some of us are very happy not wanting to rock the boat at all. If anything is said to us that is going to, you know, affect the way we live or change the way we live, that is a serious problem. We like to maintain the status quo. Even if the status quo is not ultimately beneficial to us, but we don't want anything upending our lifestyle. And here again, this is what we call mitya jnana or, or false knowledge. That's why I asked, at the start I asked, who are we? Do we know who we really are? What is our purpose? Too many Hindus are being fooled by charlatans and, and, and a set of skullduggery that is going on. We are easily swayed and we are happy to, to run to this person and that person and, and, and have people read your charts and, and you know, all of this. What is this about? Who knows more than God? So we say God is omnipotent omniscient we see it but do we believe it so when people look at us and think that we are superstitious we are backward can you blame can you blame them can you really blame them The Lord is very, very clear. We have free will. We cannot blame anyone. We have that power of choice to determine our destiny. But it's a long way off for some of us. We do. We are not prepared to even engage with that. We are, we, you know, we are too busy having a good time. And that's the other thing. Why is it that we think that we must punish ourselves? It is time for us to stop being gullible. It is time for us to, to put our thinking caps on. For some of us, we must know when something is morally repugnant. We must know when it is wrong. Do as I say, but not as I do. I am teaching one thing, but I am practicing something else. 
I'm talking to you with contempt. I'm insulting your intelligence. And we are happy. Well, it would seem that way to me. To be in the servile mentality. The Lord reminds us over and over. He's equally present in all beings. No equally. Please, always remember this. If it is one thing you remember from anything that I've said, always remember that. No one is better than anyone else. No one. No matter how much wealth you have, no one is better. The only way that someone could be better than you is by virtue of their virtues. So this is why when the Lord says the only way you can be apart from God is through your ignorance, is, for your, is from your own misunderstanding. When we know our tradition teaches that we are part and parcel of that beautiful Param Atman. Our Atman is part of that Param Atman. So what sort of activities do you think we should be engaged in? Cheating? Being dishonest, engaging in corruption? It, you know, because no one is seeing, so it's okay. Doing things that we know in our heart is wrong, but because I'm not going to get caught, and it may be financially beneficial to me, or it may give me some, you know, some form of accolades, I'm happy to go along with that. So who are we living our lives for? Are we living our lives for God, or are we living our lives to please other people? We have to start asking these difficult questions. In the Chandogya Upanishad, there's that story of Narada and Sanat Kumar. And the Lord explains again the importance of knowledge. Aparavidya, that higher knowledge, because of the fact that it is transformative in nature that is the very definition of brahmagyana not something that you hold in your head and you can chant and chant and sing and recite even in the bhagavad gita the lord says that so if i can sit and chant five chapters well okay i'm probably good at chanting but how am i living my life that is a more critical part and this is what the lord speaks about are we prepared to only engage in the superficial and not follow what the Lord himself is asking of us. I find it very, you know, very disconcerting. I find it very puzzling. If it is a one thing in our tradition, it's no, you know, allegorical and metaphorical language. The Lord is very direct very direct there's no question no room for doubt so why are we still confused is it that we are confused or we are conveniently confused some people are happy to plod along you know and just go through the motions and you have to wonder. Swami says there would be many, but very few would be chosen. And you know that in the, in the Bible, Jesus says this as well. And we hear the saying all the time, many will be called, but few will be chosen. But nobody has to choose us. We have the choice. So every time I see 
you know, what is going on around me in Trinidad. And I, I dare say, even in India, it, 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 it really is, it's, it's, it's saddening, it's disheartening, because we have all these profound, noble teachings and it, it's as if they don't exist. We are so happy living our lives to please others and to, to just engage in superficial uh, forms of worship that we forget to engage our hearts. And the Lord is crystal clear about this. Who is near and dear to me and who is the wise one? I've invited you over and over to read. Read for yourself and see. Don't be a, you know, don't grow accustomed to people telling you what your, what your tradition says. Start reading. And there, there are many uh, great teachers. And I will always, re I want to remind you of this. Those great teachers are the most humble. Humility is one of the defining features. And you have to look. You have to look. Don't settle. Please do not settle. Too many of us are, 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 you know, happy to settle. I don't know why. What could be more critical than your spiritual growth? Your spiritual growth will determine whether you are born as a human being or you are born as some other form of life. What could be more important? So please, as we begin, this is our first satsang. Let us all resolve to empower ourselves. You, in your heart, you would know if something is not right. Someone is telling you something or you're seeing something. Because at the end of the day, if someone is trying to teach me something, especially something spiritual, I must have that utmost respect. And respect must be earned. It is not something to be conferred, you know, just based on a whim. It is something that must be earned. It is not something that you just give to people. So let us put our thinking caps on. And let us, at this, at the, this is the beginning of 2024, let us resolve to learn something at least every week we must learn and make a change, positive change, so that we will not be, you know, gullible. We will not be like lemmings. We will not be easily fooled by any charlatan who passes by with, a, with, 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 with you know, the garb and the, the ticker and the chanting and the, we will not be fooled. So with this, I would like to say namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Chansey. So we'll have a couple more um, bhajans before our closing this evening. Um, so Anjoy, can you do the next one for us? Followed by Auntie Indra, um, my mom, then Mrs. Ramdat, and Auntie Chansey will do the last one for us. Thank you. Um, Vande Ganapati Vigana Vinashane Elambo the Regajanana Vande Ganapati Vigana Vinashane 
ಪೀಲಂಬೋದರ ಗಜಾನ ಪ್ರೀಧಿ ಸಿಧಿ ಕೇದಾತು ಪ್ರೀಧಿ ಸಿಧಿ ಕೇದಾತು ಏಷ ಶಿಶೇಖರ ಬಂದೆ ಗಣಪತಿ ದಿಘನ ವಿನಾಶನ ಕೇಲಂಬೋದರ ಗಜಾನ ಜೋಧ್ಯಾಂಚಿತ ಫಲ ಪಾವೆ ಜೋಧ್ಯಾಂಚಿತ ಫಲ ಪಾವೆ ಅಗ್ರಿದೇವ ತುಂಬಿ ಬಂದೆ ಗಣಪತಿ ಬಿಘನ ವಿನಾಶನ ಕೇಲಂಬೋದರ ಗಜಾನ ಕಾಮ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಮದಲೋಭಾಧಿಹರ ಕಾಮ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಮದಲೋಭಾಧಿಹರ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಾರ ನಿರ್ಮ ಮನ ಬಂದೆ ಗಣಪತಿ ವಿಘನ ವಿನಾಶನ ಕೇಲಂಬೋದರ ಗಜಾನ ಕೇಲಂಬೋದರ ಗಜಾನ ಕೇಲಂಬೋದರ ಗಜಾನ Sitaram again, everyone. Tandha kandhaya nandhala Umurali wala se pajaye murali Muraliya jadu khari Tandha kandhaya nandhala Umurali wala se pajaye murali ಮುರಲಿಯಾ ಚಾದು ಭರಿ ಕಾಂಧಾ ಕನ್ಹಯ್ಯ ನಂದಲಾಲ ಓ ಮುರಲಿ ವಾಲಾಯಸೆ ಬಜಾಯೆ ಮುರಲಿ ಮುರಲಿಯಾ ಚಾದು ಭರಿ ತೇಕ ಕುವರ್ ಕನ್ಹಾಯಿ ರೈಸೆ ರಾಸರ ಛಾಯಿ ಎಸ ತಲ್ ಸುನಾಯಿ ಸುರಬುರ ಸವ ಬಿಸರಾಯಿ ಬಾತ ಕುಚಲ್ಯ ನೀರಾಳ ಓ ಮುರಳಿ ವಾಲಾ ಎಸೆ ಬಜಾಯೆ ಮುರಳಿ ಮುರಳಿಯ ಜಾದು ಭಡಿ ಕಾಂಧ ಕನ್ಹಯ್ಯ ನಂದಲಾಳ ಓ ಮುರಳಿ ವಾಲಾ ಎಸೆ ಬಜಾಯೆ ಮುರಳಿ ಮುರಳಿಯ ಜಾದು ಭಡಿ ಕಾಂಧ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮುರಾರಿ ಗೋಬರ ಧನ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಕಾಹಿ ಮತಿ ಕಿ ತೂರಿ ಸುನ ಕಿ ಮೇಥಿ ಗಾಯಿ ಅಂಧಿ ಪಡಿ ಬ್ರಿಜ್ ಬಾಲಾ ಓ ಮುರಳಿ ವಾಲಾ ಐಸೆ ಬಜಾಯ ಮುರಳಿ ಮುರಳಿಯ ಜಾದು ಭಡಿ ಕಾಂಧ ಕನ್ಹಯ್ಯ ನಂದಲಾಲ ಓ ಮುರಳಿ ವಾಲಾಯಸೆ ಬಜಾಯೆ ಮುರಳಿ ಮುರಳಿಯ ಜಾದು ಭಡಿ ಮಾಖನ ಚೋರ ದುಲಾರ ನಟಕತ ಸಬ ಕಾ ಪ್ಯಾರ ಮನ ಮೋಹನ ಮನ ನಾಮಕ ತೇಜ ಸಾರ ಮಾಧವ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮತ ವಾಲ ಓ ಮುರಳಿ ವಾಲ ಐಸೆ ಬಜಾಯೆ ಮುರಳಿ ಮುರಳಿಯ ಜಾದು ಭಡಿ ಕಾಂಧ ಕನ್ಹಯ್ಯ ನಂದಲಾಲ ಓ ಮುರಳಿ ವಾಲ ಐಸೆ ಬಜಾಯೆ ಮುರಳಿ 
मोरलिया जादू भड़ी मोरलिया जादू भड़ी मोरलिया जादू भड़ी सीताराम अगेन वंस मोर एंड थैंक यू नमस्ते वंस अगेन वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही पीर पर जानी रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही पीर पर जानी रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही पर पुकार करे फिर भी क्यों पर पुकार करे फिर भी क्यों मन अभिमाना मान रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही छोर बुराई करो भलाई छोर पराई निंदा छोर बुराई करो भलाई छोर पराई निंदा सकल चराचर समझ बराबर रहे धर्म पर जिंदा रे भाई रहे धर्म पर जिंदा भूल जान कर करे न लालच भूल जान कर करे न लालच दया करे अन जान रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही ना कोई छोता ना कोई खोता हरि के सभी किलौने ना कोई छोता ना कोई खोता हरि के सभी खिलौने जिसको मन में भेद न जाने उसके शाम सलोने रे भाई उसके शाम सलोने पिंज रे छोरू रे जब तू पंची पिंज रे छोरू रे जब तू पंची क्या अपना बेगान रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही पीर पर जानी रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही झूठ न बोले सत्य की तोले मिट्टी बोली बोले झूठ न बोले सत्य की तोले मिट्टी बोली बोले ऊंच नीच के भावन राखे मन की आंखें खोले रे भाई मन की आंखें खोले धन्य उसी की माता जग में धन्य उसी की माता जग में जे हरि को पहचान रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही पीर पर जानी रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही पीर पर जानी रे वैष्णव जन तो ते में कही The followers of Sri Vishnu are always aware of the pains of others. They always serve others selflessly and their hands their minds are free from pride. Speak no falsehood, always weigh and know the truth. Speak softly and sweetly. Recognize that none is high and none is low. And open the mind's eyes as you journey through life. 
Blessed indeed is the mother of that individual who is able to recognize God. Thank you. Okay, so you got on again. Jai Shankar Bole, Jai Shankar Bole, Jai Shankar Bole, Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shankar Bole. Tabudevo me devanirale, Jai Bam Bam Bole. Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shankar Bhole. Tab Devo me Devanirale, Jai Bam Bam Bhole. Maha Dev tu me hai tu sab, Devo ka santa pahara. Sagar mantan me nikala, Vishu tu ne apne kanth bhara. Ah, 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 ah. Mahadev tu me hai tu sab devo ka santa pahara. Kagar mantan me nikala, kush tu ne apne kant bhara. Iti liye har prani tuj ko nil kant bole. Sab devo me dev nirale, jai bam bam bhole. Jai Shiva Shankar, jai Shiva Shankar, jai Shankar bhole. Sab devo me dev nirale, jai bam bam bhole. Tere naam yame ko baba, teri mahima nyari. Teri bheda yano ki sab se kya jane sansari. Aaaaaaah, aaaaaaah. Tere naam yame ko baba, teri mahima nyari. Teri bheda yano ki sab se kya jane sansari. Tu hi hai kaila shupati, tu parvat par jole. Sab devo me deva nirale, jai bam bam bhole. Jai Shiva Shankar, jai Shiva Shankar, jai Shankar bhole. Sab devo me deva nirale, jai bam bam bhole. शीश तुम्हारी गंगा मैया चंद्र शिखर थे सोहे तन पे सर्प बिछरते रहते भक्तों के मन मोहे आ शीश तुम्हारी गंगा मैया चंद्र शिखर थे सोहे तन पे सर्प बिचरते रहते भक्तों के मन मोहे उसको कैसा कष्ट जगत में नाम तेरा जोले सब देवों में देव निराले जय बम बम भोले जय शिव शंकर जय शिव शंकर जय शंकर भोले सब देवो में देव निराले जय बम बम भोले जय बम बम भोले जय बम बम भोले बोलिए उमापति महादेव की जय विघ्न विनाशक Garnanatha Vigna Vinashaka Garnanatha Gajanana Gajavadana 
गजानाई गजवरना गणना था गणना था Swami. Thank you all very much. So now I'll pass over to Mrs. Ramdat to do tonight's closing prayer. Okay, let's um, clasp our hands and pray, ask the Lord for a peaceful, happy, and prosperous and healthy New Year. And we must all, I mean, pray all the time, I, like Chancy said, that, I mean, we say things, but we have to say it from our heart. We have to mean it. And uh, we have to know exactly that we want the right thing. We don't want to like what is not right, what is not good. We don't, nobody wants that. So let's, God is the only one to, to help us. And it's not that we pray and asking only, it's God we asking. And God is the only one, like she, Chancy said earlier, only God can help us. Only God can help us. So let's please close our eyes and um, pray and ask God for, for his guidance and protection and everything that we want for the new year. And uh, let's start. Asatoma. Sadagamaya Tamasoma Jotirgamaya Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya Santa Param Bhujagasenam 
பரமநாதம் சுரேசம் விஸ்வாதாரம் ககனசிஷம் மேகபரணம் சுபாங்கம் லட்சீகாந்தம் கமலமேனம் யோகி வேதியம் வந்தேஸ்தோவயரணம் ச்சிதேவா ராம் நமஸ்தே எவ்ரிவான் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி May we continue to be united as one family. All the best for 2024. Thank you. Thank you.